So what can the Fertility Podcast do for you? Well, if you heard my last video, you'll know who I am. If not, hello, I'm Natalie Silverman and I host the podcast along with Kate Davis, who is a fertility nurse consultant. I launched it over six years ago now, once successfully pregnant after fertility treatments. And my background is in radio presenting. So talking about stuff is kind of what I do. And I haven't stopped talking about this topic since I launched the podcast. And this series of videos is just to explain what you have access to when it comes to the 9,000 plus hours of podcast episodes that we've created. I mentioned in the last video that we have a whole section for getting pregnancy ready. So do go back and watch that if you haven't seen it to hear what stuff that covers. Another of our series, which we released in 2020, was all about miscarriage and how important it is that we talk about it with one in four women dealing with miscarriage, over 137,000 women having to go into hospitals. This is in the UK reporting bleeding. And these are the numbers that we know about. And still miscarriage isn't spoken about as freely as it should be. We're still in this idea of not telling people we're pregnant till 12 weeks. And then if something happens before that 12 weeks, you've not got anybody to talk to. Sadly, in the UK, recurrent miscarriage isn't tested until there have been three. But in this series, we talk to experts about that, about why testing isn't going to happen sooner. And you'll hear about changes that are hopefully coming. We also talk about the psychological trauma of miscarriage and the importance of allowing yourself to grieve and where you can get that support to enable you to do it. It's not just women that are affected, men too, and the wider family. And the brilliant support organizations who can give you tools to share with your family to help other people deal with a loss. We talk about stillbirth and especially if there's siblings that can't understand what's going on or what's happened how to kind of help those conversations happen and the main thing that I want you to get from listening to the miscarriage series is hopefully answering some of those confusing questions why does miscarriage happen what does it mean and the impact on um, on a miscarriage from from the point of the male point of view and what I mean by that is sperm health can impact a miscarriage chromosomal abnormality can impact a miscarriage and so these are all things that we talk about in more detail in our podcast in our podcast series about miscarriage so do subscribe via the fertilitypodcast.com or in any of your podcast apps and i hope you find that series really useful and i hope it gives you the confidence to ask for more support if you are struggling.